live stream on my main YouTube channel is disabled due to a copyright strike. It should be available again on November 3rd, 2020. To view my live streams, see the description box for details on how to get to my other channels. My backup YouTube channel, DLive and Twitch will still show my live streams. He has CIA level production values for his opening. I even hear Yvonne Kim talking about loops. These guys are mimicking me to the yin yang, but I'm not going to run around and, and worry about it. They're lacking soul. They're lacking the education I had and the intellectual purity that I had. Tokyo Shemp, aka DFQ2. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, yeah, I haven't made a lot of videos lately. And uh, this one you can thank Tokyo Shemp, a.k.a. DFQ2, Dave from Queens 2. I wonder what happened to Dave from Queens 1. Um, so let me get into this. I think I have my first stalker. All right. So uh, I've had a couple of uh, spam uh, comments lately and I'm like, Hmm, what's this about? Uh, Tokyo Shemp, I'm called a shill. Why did you think this type of LARP was a good idea? Oh, look, it's the finger. What were the odds? It's about data collection. A lot of this stuff is way back. It's like they're trying to see what I made in the past and see if they could get me on something. Um, and he goes, why are the shows missing from late 2017? And I reply, many of the videos have been removed from YouTube. If you want to continue stalking me, you might find those missing videos on my backup channel. Also, try finding those videos on BitChute on Library. Elbry. O-B-R-Y. So I want to look at Tokyo Shemp and uh, why he's commenting so much on my stuff. He's got a lot of videos, 429, not a lot of subscribers. Um, and he's, you know, located at DFQ2 link below. I did a search and, uh, yeah, he comes up in search results, uh, second page. And so I was like, huh, he's writing about me since May 2019. And I remember, hey, this guy, this guy, <laughs> this unknown fella has been, uh, I remember, uh, talking about DFQ2 before, but I didn't know he had a YouTube channel. Anyways, uh, this guy's a sociopath, narcissist, uh, this Tokyo Shemp. <clears throat> I think, uh, I mean, look, it's like, I'm lucky to get 40 views. More people read this blog than watch their stupid videos and I am obscure. Well, let's change that. Everybody who watches me, subscribe to me, subscribe to uh, uh, Tokyo Shemp. He wants the fame he wants all that good stuff so get him up there i mean he's he fits the profile of a of a of a youtuber who just uh very narcissistic uh very negative towards others um and well let's just there's three videos of his that he did specifically on me as uh, uh let's go into tokyo shemp his videos it's like wow this is great and i think he might have followed me from way back um because i did a lot of political videos of you know third party um you know my initial awakening if you want to call it was in 2016 with bernie sanders uh i'm not i'm apolitical these days uh non-voter um back in 2016 for the dnc primary uh, i voted for bernie sanders and then in uh the general election i voted for jill stein green party did not vote ever after that uh anyways it looks like he's been following 
I forget their names, but yeah, those are actual. <laughs> Uh, I want to call them shills. That's too much of a, of a word. But yeah, in that same line where they say a lot of things, uh, a lot of rhetoric, they don't really provide any evidence. Um, but this guy's, whoa, 10 months ago. I guess Co Intel Pro style multi channel network exposed. I got to watch that one. Wow, this guy's been stalking me for a while. Uh, Aunt BB, yeah, that's her name, and uh, her friend. <clears throat> um, I I did a thing about. <sighs> so, what's funny is this Tokyo Shemp DFQ two guy. He's like, hey, he took my uh, oh Scott Creighton, that's his name. Um. Who's saying uh, Julian Assange has been uh, is a honeypot for the CIA? And it's like, well, what's some evidence? Because I did a couple of shows. You can go ahead and watch them on my videos. It's like, like there's nothing that points to Julian Assange as a honeypot. If he was, we would like to know. And if evidence points to it, then hell, good job. But uh, no, nothing. Anyways, uh, I tried to get uh, Scott Creighton and Aunt BB on um, to do an interview with me, a live stream. Uh, they said, sure. Uh, they never get back to me again. And then we had this comment, uh, war. And um, on one video, I think when uh, uh, Aunt BB is making maybe towards me, she mentions or just after she she mentions me and or something that <clears throat> she had she was on the cia payroll and i'm like dude you're on the cia payroll why would you say that you're an idiot now we know that you're definitely not on the assange side uh unless it's you know the um controlled opposition type of thing but Scott Creighton at BB, uh, just like Tokyo Shemp, they don't really have a lot of subscribers, and it's hard getting subscribers. You really have to be uh, narcissistic, make negative videos. Uh, definitely Tokyo Shemp should be up there in like 34 million views or, or subscribers. Fits that profile. And um, anyways, I'll play back a little bit of the videos here. Uh, some snippets. You heard this in the intro quote of the day. He has CIA level production values for his opening. CIA level production values. Um, it's great. I commented all those on my backup channel. Sweet, I'm famous or infamous. Best compliment ever. CIA level production values for his opening. And again, I do everything uh, live and public and uh, don't pay. I don't ask for money from it. I ask for donations, but I don't really ask for donations. So, yeah, if you want help, I'll help you. So, here's uh, my CIA level production values. Look, anyone want to hire me and, and pay me uh, whatever they want? Uh, to make some intro videos or something come my way i got cia <laughs> level production values all right so i'll um this is power director the video editing software the music that i got was from mad world the instrumental uh version um alone in the night time lapse footage of earth as seen from the iis that's the uh, that's the video that i got uh the the uh video from this was before i was a flat earther i didn't want to use uh fake footage anymore but basically you see alone at night timeless footage of earth as seen from the iss and you can see it's the same video <laughs> uh this is probably cia <laughs> production values right here but let's see and also mad world instrumental i don't want to play it back but basically uh the link is here so if you wanted to use that instrumental uh you might get um demonetized or your videos taken down for using the instrumental of a song so uh going back to power director you can see that 
uh, that's where I get the video snippet from. That's where I get the, the, the instrumental stuff. The lens flare is just a basic uh, thing that comes with um, that comes with Power Director. Uh, which one do I have? I think I have the 2016 Power Director. Uh, I've been out of date on software for a long time since uh, money is non-existent except through my wife. Um, Ebon Kim Presents, you know, that's just the, the text. Um, and so this bad TV, what is this one specifically? I could hide these and just see what what that is oh wait is everything hidden oh yep yeah, that's good okay so it's space background grainy footage type of thing that's what i used and then what i added in was this lens flare all right just kind of like a jj abrams effect basically um and then uh basically i added into music and uh right my titles but then i just uh, added that video transition from the ias uh, thing Ta-da! CIA level production values, guys. You hear that? <clears throat> I, that's that's just me. Um, what else? I think that's it. That's all I want to do. This guy. Oh, fourteen eyes. I never heard of fourteen eyes before. Heard of five eyes from Susie Dawson. Uh, nine eyes and fourteen eyes. I had to actually go look that up. And uh, nine eyes, fourteen eyes, and other third parties. It's all these alliances from government, military groups. Uh, Edward Snowden has. Uh, there's a lot of allies. I wonder what this guy, is, Tokyo Shemp, again, another individual who you don't know their name, you don't know their face. Uh, odd, huh? Um. The 14 eyes consisting of the same countries as the nine eyes, plus Germany, Belgium, Italy, Spain, and Sweden. It's a lot of countries. Okay. So, he says I'm... He says I'm a lot of things, uh, apparently. Um, anyways, whew. It's crazy. This guy goes everywhere and okay anyways uh subscribe to this fella leave a like for his stuff uh look at all his interesting videos that um should have millions of views and uh as far as what i've been doing um my daughter uh, i got my daughter to um play minecraft taught her how uh, i've done a lot of baking uh, of of you know pizza bread cookies brownies donuts um anyways spending more time with family and not really doing videos and uh making a lot of stuff on uh minecraft so hopefully everything's working here all right so i'll show you our stuff this is my daughter's world. I actually uh, found an exploit where you can duplicate items really easily. Uh, I'll do a video um, after that. Um, but basically, I'm trying to build an elevator. This is uh, a treehouse that I built her over there. Uh, just a small one right here. Um, she likes to decorate things with um, carpets. Anyways, uh, this connects to our main place, which I started. It's at our spawn, so if we die, we spawn inside the house. So I just leveled everything out. 
Um, she doesn't like monsters. You know, she's seven. She's not very good with the keyboard and mouse, but she's getting there. Um, and she just spends a lot of time making things. She likes baking, making all the stuff. Um, she likes putting in carpet. This one's pink carpet. And as you can see, I've got a lot of materials here. This is survival mode. Uh, I'm not sure if you could see that, but it is survival mode. I uh, got a lot of slime blocks, honey blocks, stuff to build an elevator. Unfortunately, this elevator does not work. So I'm going to have to make a new elevator because this elevator is a giant tea, uh, giant jungle tree. It goes all the way up uh, to 256. You can see the position I'm at 84. So the highest uh, you can put a block is 256 or something like that. Um, but anyways, I can have an elevator so she can go up to the top and I'm going to have, um, um, let's see, uh, there's a, somehow mobs still get in there. I'm going to have it so I can, we can jump off and I'm going to have like a big old slime block pool so we can jump back. So basically you jump 50% each time, uh, off a of slime block. So let me see if I could do a example right here here's a slime block over here oh uh so almost maxed all my weapons and armor and stuff like that that i want uh to do the duplication exploit that i use is pretty good anyways uh so here's where you jump so my daughter was would love this i haven't um showed her that yet she, she's gonna enjoy it uh we had horses here one of the negative aspects of uh duplication uh, exploit is it gets rid of a lot of um, your animals it gets rid of uh, like we had a lot of cows over here in this pasture a lot of chickens here uh, we still have bunnies it didn't affect bunnies I think it affects like uh, things that are kind of big uh, we got I set up new beehive colony here this used to be sheep and pigs um, we I captured a lot of uh, fish so maybe it isn't like uh, things anyways you can see there's this farm here and there that I don't need these anymore this is before I figured out the exploit how to make duplicate items uh, this is the village that's on the inside um, a lot of the uh, villagers ended up disappearing with the exploit um, this is where I would f capture before um, what I would do is I would capture Zombie villagers, put them in here. I get the uh, splash potion of weakness on them and a golden apple. And I put golden apples right here. Uh, so I would trap them in there, convert them. It takes three minutes and then they become a villager. Uh, let's see, there's an end portal over that way. You can see um, a lot of the nether warts. Uh, so outside the, these pastures, there's just uh, crops. Uh, to grow there's nether warts there's cactus over here uh, when I enter the nether wart I have built a like a house around it that way you know we're not being attacked by monsters right when we get there um, just a whole bunch of farm stuff up here we've got uh, all the diamonds uh, blocks Blocks of gold, blocks of iron, netherite, crying obsidian, block of emeralds. I'm gonna obsidian. I'm gonna make a lot of uh, glazed terracotta for her. Um, she loves all the different colors, all the dyes and wool uh, that I accumulated for her. A uh, whole bunch of food, endless supply of food. This is all what my daughter made. Uh, this is from all the animals that we uh, had. I was doing a lot of fishing early just to get a lot of um, enchanted items. And let's see, eventually set up a, um, a thing for uh, potions, the brewing stand. I uh, got a lot of these items over here. Uh, old books, these are all from fishing. Uh, a lot of these I ended up getting villagers, converting villagers, and uh, having them as librarians. Uh, Minecraft throughout the days did a lot of uh, exploit fixing. Um, so you couldn't get a uh, book of mending really easily by just taking out um, a, uh, 
a, like a, a villager's craft and replacing it with the uh, lectern. Um, so here's the basement. Um, there's a mushroom farm down here. Uh, she doesn't like mobs, so uh, make sure I create a room with a lot of, a, of um, light so monsters won't spawn. I have a specific mob farm. It's not a good mob farm. It's it's just dark down there, uh, so mobs spawn. That we just go. F I could just go get them. Uh, usually to just get vil zombie villagers, put them in here. This is secondary village. Uh, experience potions, uh, a couple of stuff here, anvils and enchanting books. All these I got from uh, villagers. The only things I did not get are like efficiency five. Uh, I did get two efficient. I did get efficiency fours. Um, sharpness five is what I want next, and uh, unbreaking three would be good. But I uh, just had unbreaking twos. Um, anyways, it just makes it easier to create, um, add, add more enchantments a lot easier without using a lot of experience points. So these are all just like uh, the librarians and and uh, uh, clerics. The only problem with with having these, uh, what's good is no mobs will spawn in here because of all the light that I put in here. Uh, this was efficiency four. The problem is all the villagers don't really sleep in the same bed all the time uh, whenever you add a new villager they just seem to pick a, a bed that they like so it's just really weird uh it would be nice if they stayed in one room all the time and you could just know exactly what you can get from each villager uh, a couple of ender chests everywhere anyways uh i'll go back up to the main Oh, uh, one th one other thing. Um, she likes fireworks, so I made a uh, crossbow with multi shot. Here's like an indoor greenhouse farm, and so um, this goes to the treehouse. Uh, you climb there from the, this little orchard that I have. You can, uh, get wood. Um, I tried to make an automated. Uh, kelp farm that wasn't very good anyways there's that mit so that treehouse connects to the larger treehouse which will i'll have elevator built there elevator would go all the way up to the top and from the top, the top there we would jump down into a green slime pool of jelly and just jump up a lot <laughs> uh so that my daughter would really like that um and again she likes the carpets and up here, um, I haven't worked on a lot of fireworks. This one was going to a different village using minecarts. My daughter's not very good at using minecarts, so she doesn't really want to do that. Plus, it's not protected. I got to eventually fill this whole thing up with uh, glass. So, mobs uh, can't... Uh, those air mobs, I hate those air mobs. They're just annoying. No, can't attack us. But otherwise, no mobs really spawn out here. A couple of different fireworks, uh, not a lot, um, but a lot of materials to, to make them already, fire charges and all that, so um, when we play, when it's nighttime, we can just, uh, she can use the fireworks and the crossbow, same with me, and we just have a fireworks show. It just takes time to build all of them. And the next thing I'm going to create uh, that might daughter has been wanting is a uh, ice skating rink and i think i can build that over there i gotta clear out that area um i'll see if we can get a better look oh i could just jump down huh uh yep. i have to remove something so uh yeah this is kind of what i've been doing a lot lately you can tell it's a takes a lot of time oh um early on i built the stair all the way to zero um but basically you want to get diamonds and stuff you go to level five uh until i found that exploit the, the thing about the duplicated item exploit um you have to find the items first before you can ex uh duplicate them so uh, my, i didn't even know the exploit this exploit is new. I don't think anyone's figured it out because I looked and everyone has all these complicated exploits for duping and um, 
they don't seem to work anymore because of course uh, Microsoft or whoever the Finnish game publisher they um, they seem to fix all those stupid exports anyways uh, I'm gonna clear out this space level out uh, that section and this will be I think uh, more over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level this out uh, get the, connect it to the villagers and what this will be is the ice skating rink and so the villagers can get actually out to the ice skating rink and populate it so my daughter uh, you know she sees as a like a real ice skating rink and I think I'm also going to have a um, another connection here uh, to an igloo just so but I think I'm more going to probably put an igloo not a very big one next to that orchard so right here there's a little area so basically connect the treehouse going to the um, the what do you call it igloo um, so I have got a lot of blue ice over here uh, some glass uh, sea lanterns glowstone blocks so you know these actually mostly got reeled in uh, just duplicated a few but these sea lanterns and glowstones yeah I used to dupe exploit to get that but uh, the only problem about the duplicate exploit that I used the only problem is, is yeah it, it, it gets all your farm animals and your villagers to disappear which sucks uh, so I have to get them all back uh, Two turtles seemed unaffected by it. The bunnies seemed unaffected by it. And wolves seem unaffected by it. So, um, anyways, that's that. That's what I've been up to. Um, uh, instead of going doing these live streams in the afternoon, you know, I just kind of live life. Although, I think... Um, I'll still probably make some videos eventually. There's still some things I wanted to to make uh, on certain to topics, but again, um, just enjoy what's 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 out there. I mean, the whole um, pandemic, you know, gives you a excuse to uh, spend more time with your family. So spend more time with your family. I think uh, the next video that I want to do. A fun one is just also, you know, what movies and and uh, shows uh, me and my wife have been watching uh, that we've liked, uh, that I like, and maybe doing some uh, spoiler reviews on them. Uh, so that was it. One was called Dark. It's a German-made film, um, three seasons. It's on Netflix. So we went through that. It has a lot of uh esoteric occult uh s stuff in there uh but this is more of a sci-fi with you know the very like science theories and things like that which is bunk but you know that's it's fun stuff anyways uh thank you for joining me uh i may do a uh once i get the elevator working uh the ice skating rink and igloos and a whole bunch more stuff i may do a video just kind of going over our minecraft place and um also i may do the exploit uh we'll see uh, i don't know how many people who watch me play minecraft i i know a lot of people do but um no point in making a video if no one watches it right especially first is something trivial Okay, thank you for joining me on this one. Uh, DFQ2 or uh, Tokyo Shemp. Uh, have at it. Have fun. <laughs> um, you know, uh, punch upwards a bit more. Um, pretty much talking, going after someone who has had no job for two or three years, makes no money, uh, doesn't have a lot of views and subscribers. Um, and you know you could attack mainstream or higher profile alt media uh people 
you're kind of selling on the low low rungs of the um, the uh, the people who are just trying to fight against uh, controlled sy control systems, pretty much. So I think it's it's funny how um, you know the mainstream, whether it's mainstream um, people who create things. Uh, maybe I'll exit out of this thing. Go back to webcam. Um, how about we go back to the browser? I just find it funny that um, rather than fighting mainstream um, controlled opposition sources, whether it's government, uh, religion, uh, money, uh, information, a whole bunch of these things, you know, it's always going against uh, you have all these uh, anonymous unknown people who have no names no faces to their things uh, making a lot of hit videos to just individuals who are and I I think it's good because these indicators help me out more uh, but basically the reason why is I feel like I'm on the right track because whether it's just, just some crazy fella that's that's stalking me or maybe it's some agent somewhere that wants to put out this info and 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 stuff like that for people who may eventually find me and uh, uh look at watch my videos and you know i'm obviously going on the right track that uh, they want to just put, put put something out there so people are just deterred from it right uh, but you'll you'll just pretty much see anyone uh, who's kind of against any type of control system out there. They are getting attacked by these unknown uh, agents, AI. We don't know. <laughs> crazy, crazy, uh, crazy individuals or stalkers or whatnot, right? Um, but yeah, they could they could spend more time hitting upward. Okay. That's it. Uh, enjoy. Um, you can watch more of this person's stuff. Um, and if you find something gold, something good, you know, just just go ahead and let me know, and I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you later. And uh, enjoy my production uh, CIA level production value ending here before I end the stream.